I want to go in more to some of those story ideas as well, but I just want to play a hypothetical. Let's say that you and your colleagues are here on one side of the table and I'm a screenwriter. Mm -hmm. So what is this initial meeting like? What should I be bringing with me? What, short, what type of work should I have done ahead of time? And even really how should I be dressed to come to this meeting? I think a screenwriter should look at a pitch meeting as just a, a first date. It's, uh, it's not, you don't have to come in with, every, you don't want to come off with static one-liners about what your scripts are. You want the conversation to be organic. You need to come in professional. You don't, I mean, you have to dress professional and that can just be uh, casual, smart, you know, that, that you would be in a bar in, in an evening or something like that, you know, not, not a sports bar, but someplace decent. So, you know, casual clothing. Um, and just, just keep the demeanor light and easy going. You want the ideas to feel free flowing, you want them to feel organic. Always have a cheat sheet with you, but in truth, I mean, just, just treat it like a first date, like just let the conversation evolve. You want to be very receptive to other people's ideas, but really a pitch meeting is about auditioning you as a writer to see if you mesh well with the company. Are your ideas in alignment? Um, if they're bringing suggestions about changing the lead from a male to a female, are you comfortable with that? Uh, because those are the sorts of situations that if you're under contract and getting paid, you'll have to uh, listen to and deal with. And so they want to make sure that you're comfortable with that and that uh, you're, you're in synergy together. So keeping that hypothetical meeting going, what are some red flags that I should be aware of that I should be careful of? Certain phrases that I should say or maybe even body posture. I mean, something that's going to make me seem like I'm not agreeable. I, I, I always, the best way to do it, the best way for me to fake confidence, we all have to fake confidence from time to time, is um, you know, always expect the best. You know, they have no preconceived notions about who you are as a writer. Uh, and, and vice versa. So don't always assume that Hollywood is out to rip apart new writers or take advantage. Uh, we actually, we, we love our writers and, and scripts are the foundation of great films and we need them. So we, we are looking for the next great writer. We are looking to find people we can mesh well with. The best way to come into a room, be on time, look professional, speak professionally, uh, and when the decision maker in the room or whomever uh, orchestrated the meeting uh, jumps in with an idea, stop and listen to them. And if an idea is presented that you don't agree with, don't attack it. Leave it on the table. Don't, don't counter it right away. You know, just let the conversation kind of evolve. Um, I think all, you should always go into a pitch meeting prepared with at least five to ten fleshed out ideas. You can keep that on a cheat sheet of paper if you'd like. Uh, and you don't have to necessarily have all those memorized and ready to roll. You don't even have to bring them up. But if the conversation moves into a direction of what else do you have, maybe the first two scripts that got you the meeting aren't what they want. They want to see what else you have. You're ready to roll with that. And if you're reading one of the pitches, if you're giving one of the pitches, and they quickly say that's not really in our wheelhouse, we're not interested, stop and move on to the next one. It's not personal. They just they want to find out if you can deliver what they need. So summing it up, just keep it light and flexible. E yeah, keep it very light and flexible. First date mentality. You're just trying to see if you mesh well together. Uh, do you communicate well? Are, are are you having fun? I mean, you know, don't you don't have to pull a stand up act or anything like that. But I mean, you know, make it make it light, make it easy. Uh, it is not a terrifying experience for them, so it does not need to be a terrifying experience for you. Any, any phrases a writer should definitely not like I'm just thinking of a job interview. No one wants to say, oh, well, I don't want to work overtime. So something, is there something in the whole writer's sphere that's probably a red flag that someone should hold their tongue on? I think the <laughs> biggest thing a writer needs to avoid is um, entitlement in truth. It's always be willing to make your script flexible. Always be open and receptive to new ideas and completely new takes on your screenplay, however ridiculous or counter they may feel. Um, and, and don't treat your script like a baby, even though you've committed so much time and energy into it. Uh, it's just an object in the eyes of everyone else, uh, and so you have to be able to detach from it. So don't get too personal. Um, key phrases, I don't think there's really any key phrases necessarily. Uh, I would avoid trying to say, I know that XYZ Studio is into these projects right now, or that this is a popular trend, because in truth, 
Hollywood's planning movies out and series out two, three, sometimes four years in advance. Um, so they're not really playing the trend game. That's just something that kind of happens organically as content's getting out there. Um, so I, I wouldn't try to reference that sort of stuff either.